if you were saying that. Yo, let's read between these bars. How come nobody has talked about how much of a sneak diss this song was? Like, I feel like this shit is so overlooked. It's the most obvious sneak diss. The man is saying, looking in them. There's a whole perspective piece that I found where he talks about the song himself. This is a song about the night that they met. Yeah, all the people that were typing already, but check this out. This is from the man himself, if you're not. Looking at the screen, I'll read this to you. I did a show in Toronto on June 16th. My first show in Toronto. I think it was the same night. We was going to the hotel and he had my phone. I guess he had got the word I was in town. He was there for the night working for the album. He just said he wanted to meet up. We met up, chilled out, got the vibe and see where each other was at and shit. Sometimes you like a person's music, but you definitely don't like the artist when you sit down and you talk to them. It's a real good dude. He got a real genuine soul. We clicked immediately. We've spoken probably one time before that. I don't know if that same shit stuck out to y'all like it stuck out to me. Sometimes you like a person's music, but you definitely don't like the actual artist when you sit down and you talk to them. And then fucking Buried Alive comes from this meeting. This is truly the genesis of the beef. How do you get dissed on your album? God damn. You got to be a stupid motherfucker to get fired on your day off. Fucking ridiculous. Perfect. Looking in the mirror, I'm embarrassed. I'm feeling like a suicidal terrorist. React like an infant whenever you are mentioned. But Mind over matter never worked for my nemesis, right? Keep that bar in mind. During that same interview that I read to you from, they asked Kendrick another question. To kick off the verse, you talk about being a suicidal terrorist. Why? 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 It's me being in denial. When I say buried alive, that means I'm for everything that's happening, the women, the money. It's a metaphor for me basically saying drowning yourself in that and not being able to come back. Looking in the mirror, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed of what's going on. I'm in denial of it. And saying I'm a terrorist, I might keep myself over it. Framed in that perspective from those words, this doesn't sound like too much of a compliment to me. He asked for the music business. When he asked for it, he was greeted by an alien that said that she slept with a Canadian. Kind of sounds like selling a little bit of yourself for some. Mm. The whole song is the concept of being buried alive. I want to read you guys something else from the interview. He was asked if he had heard anything from the album prior and if there was any restrictions on what he was writing. I didn't hear no music for that album. Me being a fan of his music following his career, listening to the prior songs he dropped, I felt like he was in a space now where vanity is everywhere and he has his hands on every bit of it and he's trying to escape that. But at the same time, not being in denial of it. I wanted to speak from a standpoint of me being a new artist and almost being in his shoes that he was a couple of years ago or last year and expressing them film. He goes off to brag about how he's living off the vanity, basically. Just indulging in the bullshit. I want to get to him meeting with Drake, though. Let's fast forward to that. He didn't sell him false words, which I thought was interesting. But he talks about the whole meeting and how he describes the whole scene of the ambience of getting out of the car and the car pulling up and him all he was missing was Aaliyah and the shit feeling like he was in the matrix and he was like what the fuck this is the industry and how they sat down in the whole meeting but key back to that interview again he said this times you like a person's music but you definitely don't like the actual artist when you sit down and talk to them that's a real good dude he got a real genuine soul he can still be a good dude and you can still click with him but you still don't have to like him. Felt like the initiation. My reality living in the matrix. He said that he was the same ages. Myself and it didn't help because it made me even more rude and impatient. I don't think I've ever had that kind of reaction to somebody unless I hated him. I find out you was the same age as me and I don't like you and you act like a fucking child. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? This motherfucker's the same age as me and he's acting like that? He demolishes man on his own album. And he didn't even know it. This was a ticking time bomb. Watch all these motherfuckers go back and start looking at it. I'm the piece of shit that I am because of Drake. Blame him. Blame Mr. OVO XO. Come on, y'all. That's crazy. This shit probably got overlooked. I swept over. The reason why the highlight was when he said you belong to the people when you 
all side. So they can struggle for the money, for the power, for the pussy, for the fame, and bury your son alive. He met this fool that night, saw the bitch him, just like how he saw the hoe and J-Ho, shout out to Ariel Smoke, and was like, Yo, what the fuck, who, who the fuck is this dude? Like his music, but I don't like the artist that makes music. Remember that. That was his quote. He said that about this fool. The song is about him. Looking at vanity as a person and being like, what the fuck, bro? This is what I'll end up at if I bury myself in this shit? Hell no. So that's that's what we're not doing. Gotta show love to the homies. Jen Lynn, Kiki Williams, Brina J, Ariel Smoke, Brittany Gaines. That's the homies. You wanna be a part of the homies? Speaking of, I'm gonna put out a video. I'm working on some shit right now for the homies. Speaking of the homies, I gotta shout out the other homies. Thought Crimes, the dopest duo to ever do it. P Solo, Sincere Ignorance. Shout out to the homies. Thank you, Smelly Much. Going over some shitty ass lyrics for Thanksgiving. So for the next like maybe two or three days, I'm just gonna be doing my research on some bullshit ass lyrics, funny ass shit. Shit you probably never even heard before. It's gonna be a funny ass video, so look out for that.